Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Mattel Wave 2 Stitchy Moloch. I meant to say the Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom Wave 2 Attack Pack Stitchy Moloch <gasps> from Mattel. This is actually my first Wave 2 toy of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys. So first, let's check out her packaging. Now, this packaging is um, a little bit different because it has a sticker on the top that says new. Um, and, you know, there's no differences aside on the front aside from the sticker that says new. Then on the back, it shows all the other Wave 2 dinosaurs you can get. So you have the Lost World color scheme Velociraptor, the red Herrerasaurus. I have reviewed the Battle Damage Herrerasaurus. That was actually my first Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy review. And then right here is also a repaint of the um, Dimorphodon. Oh, and strangely, right here, it shows the Stitchy Moloch, but it shows, like, the, the little um, mini dinosaur version of the Stitchy Moloch, which is kind of weird. Why, they, why didn't they just use the, the actual model? I guess we have nothing else to do but to take her out of her box. So here is Stygie out of her box. This is probably my favorite attack pack dinosaur so far. It looks so good. The detail on this figure is just amazing. Jeez, that is one derpy face. Here's her QR code if you would like to scan it. I'm almost 100% sure that the sculpt was directly molded from the CGI model that was used for the movie. Just because of how accurate it looks. Man, look at the head sculpt. Looks just like the movie. This dinosaur reminds me a lot of the Draco Rex. It was another type of Pachycephalosaurid, I'm pretty sure. And it looks almost just like the Stitchy Moloch. I mean, Stitchy Moloch. Dang it, Greek people! Why do you always give dinosaurs such hard names to pronounce? Jeez. As far as her articulation goes, she has a very wide range of movement. Her head can move down that much, and it can move up that much. And then it has a 360 degree swivel, so you can move it around however you like. You could recreate a bunch of great scenes, such as the scene where she was ramming into everybody at the auction. Now, I'm sorry if you just got spoiled right there, but if you just got spoiled, then why on earth have you not even seen the movie yet? And her adorable little arms have articulation too. They can move up about that far and... Wait, never mind. They can go 360 degrees. Oh, huh, that's pretty good. Her legs can move about this far forward and about uh, this far back, which I don't even understand why you'd even want her to look like that as far as I know. Dinosaurs do not do yoga. One of my favorite things about this figure, apart from the amazing movie accurate sculpt, is the paint. The paint was really nicely done. You can see the belly is nicely done. It's airbrushed or actually that's printed. You can kind of see it's been printed onto the figure. Yeah. And um, there's also some striping going down the back all the way to almost the tip of the tail. And then um, her um, baldness head uh, is white. And then there's these nice gray Stitchy Bullock spikes. And the rest of her color scheme is a nice um, kind of rotten orange orange. Here she is with some of the other Wave 1 figures. She fits really well into the collection. I hope you enjoyed this short little review of the Attack Pack Stitchy Moloch. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews. I have one coming up very soon. You know what, I'm just going to give away which one it's going to be.